So this question is based on coding decoding topic. So you have a in a certain code is given that A B C D is written as twenty four, E F G H is written as one six eight zero, and how is I J K L written in that code? So we need to find out on what pattern they have used so that they got this number twenty four for this A B C D similarly for the E F G H, and we should use the same pattern for this uh, four letters I J K L and find out what could be the corresponding code. So in most of these type of questions. the the logic will be based on the positions of these letters in the alphabet series okay so let's start with that so it's always a good idea to write down uh this list of alphabets and its corresponding positions starting with a is first letter b is second c is the third till z is 26 okay so that it's easy for you to pick up pick the position of each corresponding letter so let's start with the first series okay a b c d so what are the corresponding position of a it's 1 B is two, C is three, and D is four, and you are getting twenty-four. So right now you need to find the logic so that how you are getting this twenty-four using these numbers. So we can clearly see that if you multiply all these numbers, see one times two is uh, times three times four, which is four factorial, which is nothing but twenty-four. So the logic they have used here, we are not sure about it. We just need to cross check with the second uh, letters as well. So. Right now we can follow with this logic. So it's you are multiplying all the positions of the letters given. So it's one time, two times, three times, four, which is equal to twenty-four. So I'm going to cross-check whether the the pattern we recognize here is it true in this case as well. If it is true, then you can use the same to find out the answer. Okay, let's try the next one. E F G H. So what are the positions? E is uh, five, uh, F is six, G is seven, and H is eight. So you need to multiply all of them. Okay, so five times six is thirty, uh, times uh, seven times eight is fifty-six. So fifty-six times three is one six eight, and one zero is zero. It's correct. One six eight zero. So this is true. So we have identified the the logic they have used for the coding here. So we could use the same for I J K A L I J K L. Sorry. So position of i is nine. So you can use this uh, as a reference. Okay, nine, j is ten, k is eleven, n is twelve. So I need to multiply all of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like you know you can use which combination. It's easy for you to multiply. So I'm gonna start with nine times eleven, which is ninety nine, times ten times twelve because it's always easy to multiply with ten. So ten times twelve is one uh, twenty. It is always easy to find what is ninety nine times one twenty because I know that hundred times one twenty is equal to one two zero double zero, and from that if you subtract ninety nine times is gonna be you subtract one twenty from this, so your answer is close to this number, which is uh, this option A is the right answer, right? When you subtract one twenty, you can say one one eight eight zero. We'll get that correct answer. So option A is the right answer. So you can always use these kind of simple shortcut calculations. To get to the answer easily, so option A is the right answer in this question. So in these kind of coding decoding questions, always keep in mind uh, the positions of the alphabets. Um, like you know, most of the cases they have used that concept, so you can always use it to get to the answer.